Here we go again. Uh, Ottawa. So Derek Broussard is now a member of the Penguins, and what is Ottawa doing at center? Um, I I I do wonder about Ottawa's middle part of the ice. Uh, they get a first round pick from Pittsburgh, which is going to be a late pick. We know that. It doesn't matter what year. Wouldn't matter if they said twenty twenty. It's going to be a late pick. Uh, Ian Cole going to Ottawa, which helps their blue line depth. And uh, Philip Gustafson. Now, Philip Gustafson is an interesting one because he's a second-round draft pick from 2016. And, you know, Pittsburgh fans have talked for a while about how they have lots of goaltending prospects, and they did. This is, a, this is a part of their strength that they can make this deal. Because they drafted Gustafson in 2016. He looks like he'll be an NHL goaltender. This is part of what I've been saying for months. Ottawa needs to do that. When Anderson and Condon aren't going to be your starting and your, your backup goaltender, I don't know who they had to come in and, and do and do this do the job, so now they got Gustafson. Um, but again, I understand it's a rebuild for Ottawa, but are are they are they just looking at the financials? Is this something that because Broussard makes five million this year and next year, that they're just saying, okay, well financially we got to shed cap, or are they looking and saying, well we've got we've got uh, 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 Logan Brown right coming in? I I just I don't know. Because part of this is when you're doing a rebuild, you have to think of next year. You have to think of what your roster is going to look like for 2018-19. And while I, I applaud Pierre Dorian for being able to get a first, a defenseman, and a goaltending prospect, that's great. Um, center already wasn't really a, a position of strength for Ottawa. They lost Turris in the Duchesne deal. So they get Duchesne. That's fine. Duchesne's, Duchesne's their guy. But losing Broussard, and, and Broussard was the one they got for Zibanejad. So now, uh, Zibanejad was traded for a first, seventh, Ian Cole and Philip Gustafson, and that's a late first. And Zibanejad, when he's been healthy, has been very good for the Rangers. And, uh, yeah, you part of, part of the thing is this. So now, how, how, how does this look? So now you've got Crosby, Malkin, Broussard, and Sheehan down the middle. To win a Stanley Cup, you have to have depth down the middle. The Penguins have that in spades. Uh, they are going for a third Stanley Cup. And if they win a third Stanley Cup, this becomes the number 31 overall pick. The first, first pick of the second round every year until last season. So technically, if they win a Stanley Cup, it's a really high second round pick. Really late first rounder. I Yeah, other than this being a cap dump, and I know uh, Cole was was a defenseman that Pittsburgh had dangled out there. I hadn't heard a lot about him lately. I'd heard more about Hunwick, but my guess is teams don't want Hunwick as much as they probably want Ian Cole in their lineup. Yeah. Now, what I expect the the magician that is Jim Rutherford to do uh, following this, I expect him to go out and get a defenseman that will be better than Cole. That's the next thing I expect Pittsburgh to do, is to take some of their young assets, take some of whatever prospects they have, and move guys out in order to bring back somebody to really improve their blue line. Because they clearly weren't enamored with Cole. Cole's a good defenseman. He will help Ottawa if they keep him. But, uh, yeah, um, I, I just don't think Ottawa got enough back for Derek Broussard. Part, part of the, the reason that I'm, I'm really glad that I don't, I'm not a GM, and, and part of what I really hate about their job is that fans, I think sometimes coaches and ownership, will sometimes look at a roster and go, we got to change this. And sometimes you're left with a piece that people want you to move that you're like, but... He's, he's better than the other options. They always say you look at the trade, look at look at who got the best player, they won the trade. Pittsburgh wins the trade based on that. Unless Gustafson turns out to someday be, you know, a, a goalie who could take Ottawa to the playoffs and is this really solid starter. And even then, he's 19 years of age. And he's a goalie, so you got to think he's probably two to three years out. We may be looking four to five years before he's 
you know, a starter and, and, and really leading Ottawa to whatever their destiny would be with him as their starter. But who's their center? Ottawa is now emerging as a team that, that's going to need to draft somebody uh, with their draft pick that they get to keep because it was lottery protected. Just imagine how much worse this would be if they made the Duchesne trade and their first round pick wasn't lottery protected. I I can't think of how much worse this would be, but they probably wouldn't be selling off Derek Broussard like this. I just don't think that even though they get three pieces back and there's rumors there may be some other parts involved for salary cap reasons, uh, but it looks like this is what it is right now. Um, I don't know that they got enough back. But if you're a Sens fan, let me know. And if you're a Penguins fan, so where are you guys having the parade this year? Do you guys have the parade in the same spot? Or um, does Crosby have like a lucky hat he wears in the parade? Or uh, the 2018 parade? Can I go? Can I Can I, Can I? I go and watch? Because honestly, this is, this is just absolutely filthy down the middle. And uh, Pittsburgh and Nashville both have this figured out. And uh, Ottawa's getting rid of centermen. So, again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is an insane deal. Again, uh, th thanks for being out there. And uh, hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. Again, thank you for getting this deal done before I, I, I'm out for the day. But uh, that's it. That's it now. We'll just stop here and finish it, right? No? No? we still going to make deals? All right. Well, um, again, give me your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll talk to you again soon.